Hello there Aquarius, thank you for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of September 14th through the 20th. What we have showing up here for you on Monday is we have the Seven of Clubs in reverse. Seven of Clubs in reverse is just telling me that you had a situation where you had to stand up to yourself previous to Monday. Now Monday what's happening is this is time to back it down and let the peace flow in. So this is time to kind of see, okay, did anybody really pay attention whenever I told them that I need this, this, or this, or whatever it was that you had to take a stand for? Now it's time to just be quiet and see if people are going to be honoring and respecting what you've requested. Okay, so this is time to make peace, basically, is what this card is all about. Time to make peace. Now Tuesday, what we have coming up, Aquarius, is we have the Seven of Coins in reverse. Seven of Coins in reverse is telling me um, that we have a situation where you're not quite receiving the harvest yet. In other words, you've started something that you began actually with the idea that it would be paying you off at some point. This card is telling me that today is not the day for the payoff. <laughs> Be patient. It's an encouraging card because it is saying that this is coming in, just not yet. So you want to be patient. You want to wait for that to actually manifest and bring itself to you. You don't want to be out there trying to cut this harvest down before it's come to full ripeness. You want it to totally ripen and then the harvest will come in. So if you're familiar with farming terminology at all, <laughs> You'll understand that. If you're not, basically when you have a crop, if you cut the crop down too early, what you've got is you've got a bunch of plants with a bunch of produce on it, on them that aren't worth anything because they didn't get to be full size and they're just not usable. They're too hard. They're too green. It's just not usable. But if you wait and let that harvest get completely ripe, if you let the sun and nature and the rain work on these plants and bring the produce to full completeness, then whenever the harvest comes in, you have something that you can use and that is good and that you can share with others. So don't try to bring in your harvest too early. You'll mess things up. Just be patient. Sit back. Let it happen. <laughs> Let it happen. It's still coming in. Just let it happen in its own time. Wednesday, Aquarius, King of Clubs in reverse. King of Clubs in reverse. So Aquarius, this feels to me, I know you guys are swords guys, but I'm just telling you, this seems to me like this King of Clubs in reverse may be you on Wednesday. And when the Queen of Clubs shows up to me in reverse, what this really is telling me is that there's somebody who's very creative, who likes to think outside the box, really good at problem solving, but they've got a problem. That's why it's showing up in reverse. And so this person is um, has some kind of a problem where they're just having a hard time working out, which is sort of foreign to them because they are so good at solving problems. They're really good at getting through things, thinking outside the box, highly, highly intelligent. So this is describing you guys, Aquarius, but the thing is right now there's a problem that's just kind of stumping you on Wednesday. And it feels to me like it's probably more of an emotional type problem or a problem to do with the relationships and feelings because I know a lot of times you Aquarius try to suppress the feelings <laughs> and when you come into a situation where feelings actually have to be recognized and honored, it's a little bit of foreign territory for you. It's kind of like coming into something new and unexplored, undiscovered, unmapped, uncharted. So um, it feels to me like it is some kind of relationship or emotional issue that you're dealing with on Wednesday. You don't exactly know how to deal with it. Um, this is one of those things that you have to sort of feel around with your intuition. And if you feel like you're out of touch with your intuition, you want to find somebody who has pretty deep intuition <laughs> and pick their brain a little bit. Talk to them about this situation. Get some ideas about good ways to handle this. Um, even if they don't give you the exact idea that you want to go with, I feel like somebody that you talk to who is strong on intuition can give you some pretty good ideas about directions and ways in general to handle this and then you can go from there because you are highly agile I mean your mind is highly agile you're very intelligent so no problems there once you get some kind of ideas to work with it's just that on Wednesday without somebody else's help um, you're feeling kind of lost on this now Thursday five of clubs showing up 
And the Five of Clubs is telling me that there's a lot of people around you, very inspired, very active, very creative people. These are people that you're working with. These are teammates for you, actually. And on Thursday, what is going on is that there's a lot of chaos because everybody has all these wonderful, good ideas and they all want to do their own thing. And so there's a project that you guys are trying to accomplish, but since everybody's trying to do it their own way, you all aren't getting very far, as I would say when I used to live in the South. So the trick here is to kind of take the best of everybody's ideas that's working on this project and incorporate the best of everybody's ideas all together <laughs> and get that project to move forward. That way you can really um, have some dynamic, dynamic experiences and um, make this project into something really wonderful if you can get everybody kind of working together as a team. So that's Thursday. Friday, Aquarius. Ten of Swords in Reverse. And this is kind of coming up in an interesting way. This is a new twist for me on this card, what Spirit is telling me here. The Ten of Swords in Reverse for you. There's somebody who is in your life that someone else has slandered. So, okay, so the, let's, let's try to make this as simple to understand as you can. So person A is somebody that you know that's in your life, maybe a friend, maybe a loved one, maybe a family member. We don't really know who because it's a general reading and it's going to be different for everybody. So this is person A that's in your life, okay? Here is person B. Person B is also in your life. You talk to person B a lot. So what's going on is person A, you're talking about person A with person B. And person B is telling you some things that are completely not true about person A. And totally just slandering person A, dragging their reputation in the dust. Just totally. <laughs> Totally saying some things that aren't even true and that most people wouldn't even believe but because you trust person B Maybe you've known them longer. I don't know but because you trust person B you're believing these things about person A Even though if you really thought about it, you would see all the holes in person B's story Okay, so that's what's been going on poor person A has just been getting dragged through the dirt by person B who you're talking to about person A Okay so now what's happening on Friday is, guess what? <laughs> Something shows up that just puts right in your face what is the truth about these two people. Puts right in your face that person A has been telling you the truth all the way along and that it, that person is totally believable and trustworthy and that person B has been lying to you and I will say this is, isn't, this is a strong word, but it's coming through, has been lying to you intentionally about person A all the way along. <laughs> and something happens that suddenly this all just pops up in your face and there's no way to, um, to see this any other way. There's no way for this to be twisted into any other thing for you when it just pops up in your face. And it's interesting because... Person A really is not that aware of Person B. Like Person A knows Person B is out there, but Person A really doesn't know that much about what Person B is doing or the things that you talk about with Person B and what you believe from Person B. Person A really is not that concerned with all that stuff and doesn't think about all that stuff, not feeling any kind of um, anger or bad feelings about that stuff because they just kind of really don't, don't know and what they do know, they don't pay that much attention to anyway, okay? So it's not like there's any bad feelings from person A to person B, but it's something that happens with person A that triggers this whole blow up to where all of a sudden you see the truth. You see who's been lying to you and you see who's been basically just messing with your mind. So um, it's real interesting because where normally this card would come up as something where, um, you know, where you were shown to be the person who was who was in the right or that somebody was slandering you and it would show up that to those other people that you really were not the person you were being depicted as. This is different. You're kind of witnessing this. You're witnessing this from another standpoint. You're seeing this from person A is not the person that they were depicted as. They're completely different than that. 
And person B is, well, here's another strong word, but I'm hearing it, completely conniving. So that's what I see coming up for your Friday. Truth, truth really smacking you in the face and surprising you. Surprising you because you really thought you could trust person B um, with your life, much less with words. Okay, so let's move on. That was a long time for just one little day. Saturday, what you have showing up is you have the three of clubs. This is telling me that you may be traveling on Saturday and you Aquarius, as I know you love to travel, so this would not surprise me at all. Maybe a little weekend trip. And with the card that comes up on Monday, we have the Knight of Cups. So this may be like a romantic getaway with you and your partner. Or this also could be a getaway or some kind of traveling where you're just enjoying yourself if you don't have a partner. This could be really um, finding a new appreciation for yourself on this getaway or this trip. But for most of you, it does feel like a weekend getaway. For some of you, this might be like a week long, but most of you, it feels like a weekend thing. I'm, see I'm hearing camping, but I'm also seeing, you know, beautiful restaurants, white linen tablecloths, candlelight, maybe patio dining for some of you. Um, some of you, I'm actually seeing visions of looking out of the restaurant, out through archways and seeing the ocean. So a really fantastic view and you're up higher, like maybe up on a foothill or a mountain or something. So I'm sure that's one person specific. <laughs> something is going to happen to one person specifically like that during the weekend. But I'm sure also that a sacred spirit is giving me this, that a lot of you are going to be having these romantic type getaways or you're going to be having these romantic moments during your um, travels over the weekend. So very fun stuff for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support, your likes, your subscribes, your shares, everybody who's had a reading with me and everybody who will have a reading with me. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you back here next time. Peace out.